Theo zo fijn zijn als je vandaag mijn haar weer kort kan knippen, pixie. En dan hier met een strak lijntje. Ja. Jij bent de expert. Ik heb het je van tevoren uitgelegd. En uh, ja, ga je gang. Ja. Super. Dan okay, ben blij Tos dat ik er ben. Tosca wants a uh, blonde line at the sides. She wants her uh, real short again, especially on the sides. And the blonde line will be around her head. But that you see, of course, in the video. And uh, I will ask her to turn for you so you can see how her hair has grown in uh, three months uh, Corona time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello friends on YouTube, can I do Tosca's hair? Now first, uh, before I start, I protect uh, my hands because uh, I already did that at the salon, but on the way to here, I have to protect her and me, myself, so I take a disinfect and then can work well in I Now start with uh, putting on the protection for cutting. And thank God we may do haircuts in uh, Corona time. If everybody should do it themselves, then you have to watch the YouTube films and then try it out. I did it also, long hair and short. But you see them on my channel. And on my own. Now, start with wetting the hair and then see what's happening around her head. And on her head. And before we uh, went into Corona, she had it a little bit longer. So, <laughs> oh, what a hard There are a lot of you who tell her to leave it longer. But she really loves short hair. So, yeah. And I think always that what the customer wants is that what the customer gets. It's not my party, it's her party. Now she wants a blonde line at the sides and she wants a short haircut on the sides real high up. That's what she showed me, that's what she asked me. So I part her hair on the fall of the skull bone. I lay the upper hair aside. So I know that the place where I can work on is free. I'm gonna sit beside her and then I zoom in so you can see what's happening. Got all day now. That's the dating side. It's going to come out here in the back. Yeah, nice. Now the hair is laid in the fall, of course. So I go in about two centimeters of the parting line. Lift up with my scissor. Catch the hairs with my comb. And I know she is uh, a woman, so I make it nice, short, but feminine. I can also do this with a clipper, but then I think she had to be 18 or something like that. And then you get a real strong line, hard, but I don't like that at all. Especially not on more age. And she has beautiful natural color. Hold my comb in the position like the eyebrow bones.
come around the ear. So push the ear down with my comb and then I catch the hairs. Maar ik merk dus ook als je nou het zit te knippen dat je gewoon veel meer rust hebt als dat je ja. eerst had. Oh, geloof ik best, ja. En dat is wel fijn. Ja. Dat zijn de positieve kanten. Ja. Met de natuur, oh, ik vind dat zo geweldig. Ja, dat is ook zo. Oh. Dat je in Venetië dolfijnen kwallen en alles door de, door de slootjes ziet. Ja, ik vind gaan. dat super. Dat is echt mooi. En die lucht zo mooi. We talking in Dutch about corona time, that mother nature recovers real nice. So for us in Holland, where it's very crowded, you see also the difference. The waters yeah. are more clear. Oh, you can hear much more the birds. Yeah. Airplanes don't go over that much. There are still airplanes, but then you have something like, thank God he may fly. Yeah. I think uh, on all the Negative things are also positive things, and for Mother Earth, uh, Corona yeah. is uh, super. Yeah, it's wonderful. Super time. But not for the person who had it, because yeah. uh, they have really a problem. So we have to take care of each other. Yeah. And then love is the most important thing, yeah. even on a distance. So stay calling, stay being in contact. Yeah. It costs no almost nothing this uh, time. You see I switched over to the fine part of my comb. Go over the same lines. With the fine part I can get the hairs that still lay between the hairs and on the skin. There always will be hairs there. <laughs> that do things that you don't, never expect. Can I go behind here? <laughs> she turns on hardly. Draaien we naar jou? Ja. Go on the line of cutting. Ik heb daar wat haar in mijn nek weggehaald. Ja, dat heb je goed. Dan moet je ook doen, het valt weer voor dat je dat niet doet. She told me in Dutch that she took away some hairs in the neckline. Uh, I made a video where you find the guides to do this yourself. And the guide is where you take the skull and you lay three fingers in the hole in the neckline. Then you take off this hair, you never can get it too short. If I took two, it will be short, too short, and when you take one, you're just like an old man. You see, I still go in the opposite lines of the flow. I want to have a stable scissor. I lay my pink on the pink rest. I want to want to get a free feeling, so I get this movement. I take my pink off, and then my scissor is more free to uh, adapt the lines I want to get into, and less stiff, so it works very nice. But in the other lines, it's hard, yeah, nice to lay the pink on the rest, and then your scissor is more stable. And you always cut with your thumb. See how nice scissor over comb techniques are. Can I zoom in so you can see it a bit. That's good. And really, the sound of a scissor is most. Yeah. Wonderful sound there is, I think. For me, as a headdresser, it is. In ieder geval, hier, ik val je valt er van het slaap. Ja. De 
the underlines and the contour I do with the clipper, of course. It's much easier than do all the hairs with the scissor. And I'll work till I get on the half of the head, just above the center of the skull and where the neckline gets into the head. The nice thing of a comb is you can guide the hairs the way you want them. So you can push and pull on them to get the best end result. Now I'm on the half of her head, I'll show you that. So here is the center of the skull and I'm about a centimeter longer. So now I can go to the other side. First, I go with my clip and take the hairs up. So I free the part where I want to work on, turn a bit. So you see my line is here, still on the fall of the skull. Go in and connect to the line I just made. En dan steeds geen geluid gevonden op de achtergrond. Oh. Dat is wel jammer. Dat wist je wel, hè? Ja. Okay. I will also make some parts of this video in slow motion, so you can see how nice it is that what you all do with a scissor and a comb when you cut hair like this, because when I do it this the way I just normally do it, it goes very, very fast. So you don't even see the most of the things I do. Because it's just like a, a trick of a magician. Tos gets a lot of questions about in the in the video mostly of uh, working with a clipper. Why I don't do all the things with a clipper, but I'm certain when I would do this with a clipper, it's not a feminine line. It's too hard, especially when persons are not that young anymore. It's too hard. Moet je vast een beetje voelen? Hoe het voelt? Oh ja. Lekker hè? Superman. Superman, dat is weer een andere manier. Ik ben blij dat het eraf gaat. Oké, nou, dit is de part behind the ear. So now I go to the sides. So I can show that. Take my parting line again. Part the hairs up. Clip the hairs away, reset this clip, wet hair a bit, not too much, it don't have to be wet, just a little bit moist. Again, lifting up. Dadelijk heb je huidhonger, vind je dat Ja, maar wel leuk. When I get in the line about two centimeters above the ears and from the contour, I mostly take the fine part of my comb to go for the same line again. So 
Now you see that I work till I get on, on the airlines. And I can show you the difference in length because that's also nice to see. <laughs> how long her hair is when I take it free. You can always make a short bob. Coming to the last part of short lines. Dat iemand de knutsel hier naast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ik heb gemetseld in de muur. <laughs> Zo'n oude medewerker, weet je wel, het ja. Philips gebouw van vroeger. Nee. Zit er lampen te maken. Ja, <laughs> Licht is uit. Ja. Ze hebben het, lijkt me wel grappig. Daar achter de machine zittend. Ja. Geef het Minstens. Stop ook. Ja. Yeah. Go back over the same line. So now I have a totally short line around the head. So now I take my clipper, small clipper and a small comb and start on that. Ik moest net echt de film helemaal opnieuw gaan maken bijna. Ja. You can take your time. Don't work too fast. Work as fast as you can. And try to work with your clipper in more ways than just using the whole blade. You can also work in angles. For example, this angle, I start at two o'clock, leading with my clipper on the end of the blade, and then turn around. And holding my clipper in the same angle, so I work up to the line of cutting. This gives a much nicer grow back of the hairs and the hairs that last longer. You see, I only do the under parts. This uh, red spot is what we call in Holland Oyefaas bait, it's uh, a, a stork uh, bite. Yeah. It's get activated of course by touching, but it also goes away. That's why old people always say that the store brings you to your parents. <laughs> That's not true. Most of you who watch know this by now. I think. Otherwise, the illusion is gone. Thank you so much for your spare. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, silver here for the messy. Mm -hmm. Dopjes from the Malik Fashion. Yeah. Some of the stuff you guys. And stay watching how the hair grows because sometimes hairs go up, sometimes they get down. And she has two curly hair facts on the sides. So there is work. 
I have the most work on. Some people um, saw my son and um, in the start of this video there's a part of my daughter's uh, video she made and she is also active online but then on Instagram far, so far I know. So when you go back to the front of the video you see her in a workout. She just started. But she is stronger than I am. But I can be nasty, yeah. Hmm. And that's because I was a construction member, so I learned the tricks. I never use them. I live a life in love and life. And that's why I share all my knowledge on YouTube. And that's why I find beautiful models. Oh, yeah, that's the top of the Lekker, hè? Mm. Niet geen taal. Ja, yeah, dat kan ook. Dat is heel erg hip, hè? Mm. Dat had ik vroeger altijd, zo'n 2-3 millimeter. Ja, yeah, lekker. Ik ging in de stad naar die uh, kappersfeer. Ja. Yeah. Dan mocht ik eerst gewoon oefenen en daarna afgeleerd. Ja. Yeah. Oké, okay, now I'm ready with my clipper and my comb. Now I clean up the small hairs. I'm gonna work on the upper hair. It's a fun one we saw, right? Yeah, and disconnect it. Yeah. <laughs> on the both sides, eh? Okay, coming to the upper hair. This I have to wet, really wet. So you can see which lines there are. Go to the fall of the hair. And always take the natural fall because that's much easier to work and much nicer to style. So she has around here a parting line. And that's a natural fall because when I lay this to here, you see it jumps up to there. And when I lay this to there, you see there's too much weight, so it falls down again. So I find myself the way where the hair turns. There I'm going to work in. I lay the hair as a natural fall. I know she wants bloodline. So I start by taking up the hairs. Watch at the eyebrow lines. Hold my fingers in the same lines. And I'm going to take off some weight. And what she liked about it is that it gives a nice jumpy effect. That's what she told me. So when I make a blunt line, it will jump up when she walks. And the feeling of that she likes. It's all in the feeling. <laughs> Every time, take the hairs up, lay my fingers and graduate a bit. So I turn my fingers a bit to me, so I get a bit of rounding in the fall of the hairs. I think that the coronavirus here not a lot of chance, with the droge lucht. Het is hartstikke droog, joh. Ik heb me in, 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 niet in verdiept. Ik, ik kijk altijd als die hier op tv zijn. En als ja, maar het houdt zich vast aan vocht. Dus als het heel ja. droog is, dan kan het niks. Dat, dat is het aparte. Dat is een vreemd iets. Ja. En nu las ik als, uh, uh, in de NRC ook dat er uh, speculaties zijn hè, om het ontsnappen. Ja. 
Nee, ik krijg nooit het fijne van te weten. Nee, Now you see that I lay it a bit in the disconnect, not much, because it lays in the fall, because the short hair is here, and this lays about a half centimeter over this fall. So that gives it this blood line that's yeah. nicely falling, but also just uh, under the lines of the natural fall of the skull, so it will pull the hairs a bit down. So that's made it easier for her to style the hair. Working in the same line till it gets on the center of the back. Yep. There where I need more graduation, I give it a bit more graduation. For example, here's a part that jumps up a bit from na nature. So there I give a bit more graduation so I get really, really turned down. So pull the hairs in that line. And then you see it nicely falls into the line. Go to the other side. Mm. Myself a line just above the line of the fall of the skull. Set the hairs aside. Know where I came from. Take the hairs up. Lay my fingers in the line of her eyebrows. Bend them upstairs. <laughs> I know that would be something. I bend them up so I get a high graduation and a better fall to the back because this part goes more down. So I have to give, give it more lift by just taking it up, turning it up, and then lift it. So I work to I get on the back to the part where I left when it fits the right side. Also on this part, there's a part that lays a bit down. So I take this also up and give it in the corner more graduation. So I just lift it up a bit more. This will create a more natural falling line. Free the upper hair. Take it back again. Go to the front. Lay the fringe into the line of cutting. Watch in the meantime where the most weight is in the hair. There are always parts that have more hair. And mostly it's on the corners and in the front. Yeah, I will act that. Yeah, I can build it. On my starter maker, so. So it clinked it. Yeah, I think you're busy here. Yeah, pond to make. Now I have also on this side a beautiful line in the natural form. So it's blonde because you can see the difference in color. So now I go to the upper hair. Take the hair so in the line of the haircut. Stay holding in mind you want a blonde line at the sides. Lay the hair back, go in on the same line, in 
in the center start with turning in the natural lines of the fall so I bent my fingers in the line but also my mindset is always in the line of the haircut always follow the shapes I think this is very important to get a real nice hairstyle that you follow the natural shapes of the skull and the hair on it because the skull decides where the hairs go and the way they fall and do. Okay, coming to the front, lay the fringe in the natural lines, have to connect the side to the other side want to leave a bit long Kijk, er is een mooie scheiding Ja yeah. And now watch over her natural lines I can see them everywhere I can see them in the nose, I can see them in the eyebrows I can see them on the lips So I drop these lines into the line of cutting And the nice thing, when you, you always work on the person that's beneath the cut you're going to create and you watch at the person themselves, you never have to uh, remind yourself what you did because you always find the lines because they're always there. So it's every time a new uh, adventure you go into to make a hairstyle. It's much nicer than always cut the same lines or writing down what you did. I'll first lay it in a natural line and fall so you can see how the fringe is. Can I now nog op zij doen? Yes, I told you, it's a, some parts are a bit too thick, now in her case, this part is a bit thick. So I go in in the opposite lines and give it a bit playable effect on the back of the fall. In that case, when you, you lay it on the back, you have mo less movement to the other side and it gives a much nicer effect. And the hairstyle lasts longer. Maar we zijn eigenlijk bijzonder als mensen. We zijn ook altijd anders. Hè? We zijn natuurlijk hoor. We zijn mooi mee te gaan. Ja, goed, ik wist dat gewoon niet. Ja? Ik wist dat niet. Maar nee, maar je kunt niet alles weten. Nee. Heel veel kappels weten dat ook niet. Oké, okay, nou ik ga een styler her. Nou, de color is wonderful, so I don't have to use there anything. So I take uh, velvet foam. It's a product of Glint. Blow drying and starting on the back, working to the front and taking a medium brush. As a fern, I have a lot of strength on the finger. I'm drinking from the stilte van de borstels, drukken als het ware op die zenuwbaan. Ja, ja. Dat is echt een... Maar dat is misschien door eer, dat je eerder op je vingers hebt. Nee, ja, je eerder op je nee? vingers hebt. Wat een raar dat dat ding dat er niet uitkomt. Ja, maar ik denk dat hij er gewoon recht in is elkaar, zo'n hart houdt. Dat het niet gaat infecteren. Nee, ja, maar dat doet het nog niet. Het zit gewoon ingekapseld. Maar ja, ik kan uiteindelijk, die... ja, al een paar weken. Maar ik kan hem uiteindelijk natuurlijk wel voelen, waar die zit. So now I need just an end styling product. First I got to do something that uh, most of you don't like, but uh, with Toss I make mostly three extensions in her hair. Uh, that I'm going to show you that how I do this, because uh, you can also always find this on my channel. But I first make them in to her hair. 
product at the end is a crystal turn of uh, Goldwell. It's a gel wax. I especially love this because it makes the hair yeah, more vibrant. And also the nice thing about uh, crystal turn is that when you put some hairspray on it uh, to fixate, it doesn't damage the hair anymore because it gives also a protection. Yes. Mm -hmm. Super. The hairspray uses a flint. And this is the new hairstyle of Tos. Super Theo. I thank her for being my model. Take away all the garbage. <laughs> I will ask her to turn for you so you see the end result. I thank you for watching. Till next time. Yeah. Tos, you may turn. So they see the end result. You more than welcome now. Super. I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so My short happy. Hair. Thank you for Make much. some photos.